Hello, I am Sajoy and today I will tell you how to troubleshoot serial interface problem on Cisco router. In this video, I will discuss about modems, modems LEDs, how to identify problems with modems and how to identify physical layer or tethering layer problems. So let's start. Step 1. Introduction to serial interfaces. Let's look at the interface. So this is the serial card on a Cisco router. There are two types of serial cards on Cisco router. Number one is WIC 1T or 2T. WIC stands for WAN interface card. There are older models of serial cards having 60 pins, having thick connector and are slow, generally 256 kbps maximum. This is older serial card. Model number is WIC 1T, stands for WAN interface card 1 T1 connection. It has 60 pin connector, has a thick connector and has a connectivity LED which shows the interface or physical layer status. This is next generation serial card V.35 smart serial connector as Cisco calls it. It has a serial smart and slim connected type. Part ID is HWIC 1T or 2T. Stand for high speed WAN interface card 1T1 connector or 2T or 2T1 connector. In that, there will be two similar card kinds of ports. It also has the connectivity LED which shows the interface status or the physical status. Step 1. Look at the interface. If the connectivity LED is glowing, then physical layer is up and interface is physically up. If the LED is not glowing, then we will go to troubleshooting step 2. In step 2, look at the modem. So this is the modem, Telabs 8110 Network Terminating Unit or NTU. In this kind of modems, generally there are few LEDs. First LED is power which shows modem is powered on or off. If LED is glowing, modem has power. Second is line 1 and line 2 LEDs. If line 1 or line 2 LEDs are glowing, then the line cable or link cable is connected with the modem. If LEDs are not glowing, either the link cable is disconnected or there is cable connectivity issue from your local loop or from the exchange end. Next LED is PMA and DMA. PMA stands for Prompt Maintenance Alarm, which indicates there is a connectivity or some other issue. Next is DMA stands for Deferred Maintenance Alarm, which indicates there is a hardware problem with the modem. So if line 1 and line 2 LEDs are not glowing, check if the link is connected on the back of the modem. And if it is connected, contact your ISP immediately and get the line checked by them. And if PMA LED is glowing, again contact your ISP for line troubleshooting. And if DMA LED is glowing, then if the modem is covered under contract, contact your ISP to change the modem. Or if you have a spare modem, then change the modem. Although this is another modem, but I want to show you on the back of the modem, minimum three connectors will be there. Number one is power. This is the power. Number two is link which is the connection and number 3 is DT interface. This cable on the other end of this cable is connected on the serial interface of the card router. So if modem is on, line 1 is connected but this connectivity LED is not glowing then either the interface is shut down administratively by giving the command shut down or the cable is faulty. In that case change the cable and check if interface is up and modem is powered on and on the modem check if three connections link DT and power are properly connected with the modem and the modem is powered on and on the interface check if the serial cable is properly connected and screws are properly fastened. In next step we will take the console of the router or we will take the telnet of the router and then we will give the command from router hatch prompt show space ip space int space brief it will show you all the ip interfaces so our serial interface in question is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 
which has an IP address OK. OK is yes, that means physical status is OK. Status is up, that means physical layer is up, but line protocol is down. There may be few reasons for line protocol being down. So interface up, line protocol down means no keep alive being between the router and switch. There is no switch here. Local router or switch misconfigured, it may be lease line or other carrier service problem, timing problem on facility, router hardware failure or problem on local or remote DSU slash CSU, wrong LMI type and wrong DLCI. So in this video, I will discuss only about the physical layer. So recently I had a problem there, the line protocol was down. I contacted the ISP, got the modem checked and modem was faulty. When the modem was changed, interface came up and it was functioning. So in this case, if you are confirmed that there is not any configuration changes have been done recently, but the link has gone down, then contact your ISP to get the modem changed or checked and line checked. So that's it for now in this video. In my upcoming videos, I will discuss for other reasons for the line protocol being down. So for that, stay connected by subscribing and don't forget to like and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video.